Everyone loves a good aquarium, but have you ever wanted an aquarium full of fish and different animals in your Lego city for your citizens to enjoy? With this modular aquarium from General Gyms, you can finally make that a reality. This aquarium modular building has 2,249 pieces and three floors, including a large roof with a massive skylight. There's a ton of habitats featuring fish, an octopus, penguins, turtles, seals, and there's a shark for display above the front door. The color scheme of the aquarium looks super sharp with a mostly black exterior featuring dark azure, blue, and white color accents. I am happy to say that the aquarium features only printed pieces and no stickers, featuring a full aquarium text on the front, a decoration for the food court, and signs labeling the penguins and seal exhibits. It all looks great to me, so let's go ahead and get into this review. I want to give a special thank you to General Gyms Toys and Bricks for supporting this video. General Gyms is a distributor of Lego style products and as their namesake suggests, they have a lot of World War II themed Lego style sets which are very cool. They have a multitude of tanks, jets, battleships, and weapon packs with guns and sandbags and helmets, but they have a variety of other products too and a lot of fun accessories for Lego city building like a bunch of little shops, accessory packs, and these really cool train accessories like this platform but what really drew me to general gyms originally was their large selection of lego creator expert style modular buildings at nearly half the cost and they have a ton to choose from if you followed this channel for any amount of time you know that they are speaking my language here are some of the ones that i thought were super cool and i may pick up in the future modular garden coffee shop for 105 dollars music store and car wash 115 dollars botanical gardens 100 dollars city street french lodge house 60 dollars corner store for $90 and this wild looking barbecue restaurant for $90. Use the promo code NewBrickerton10 to save 10% on your entire order on any item store-wide on GeneralGemsToys.com. I picked this aquarium for a few different reasons. It's a fully Lego style modular building at a fraction of the price and the aquarium just looks awesome. I want to take you on a quick tour of the aquarium then we're going to talk about my favorite parts, my least favorite parts, and whether or not you should pick this set up if that's something that you might be interested in. But first, let's start with a little bit of unboxing. Do you see aquarium? on the front, but it also says Ocean Museum. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open it up, see how, package all this stuff inside. Let's open this guy up. Looks so like we got an A box and a B box, and our tan base plate. Why don't you put this on tan? I wanna open up one of the interior boxes. Very nicely printed instruction booklets. And then we got our little General Gems <laughs> card here. I want you enlist now. Now that we've got this thing unboxed and properly built, let's do our full tour of the build. The exterior bottom floor of the aquarium features a nice fountain plaza area out front with a printed transparent piece representing the water and a nice checkered tile pattern on the ground. There's a shark mounted above the front door, which is on the corner. I love the variety on the facade of this building and the ornamentation. There are some blue slope pieces below the aquarium sign that look like ocean waves. I like the windows, the way that certain bricks stick out at the corners, and these little transparent blue pillars that frame the door. Immediately inside the door is your first look at a fish tank and the ticket counter to pay your admission. There's a few little blue fish inside the tank with some rocks and plants. There's a gumball machine and through the white door is a room for the employees to prepare fish food. And there's some more printed pieces in here like the doors to the cabinet and this little device that has a no shark symbol on it. Through the glass door is the next room of habitats featuring another fish tank and a curved tank with a large octopus. The stairs for this set are actually outside, which is maybe a bit unusual, but I'm really glad they added stairs to the set. I don't know why it adds just a little bit of extra realism, so I do appreciate that. On floor two, there's a food court with a printed tile on the wall for a menu. While the menu picture only features ice cream, they have some glizzies and cups for beverages as well with a place to sit. 
Animal wise, we've got a small turtle habitat and a little pool with crabs and lobsters, but the main attraction for this floor is the penguin habitat, which even has its own printed sign. I've got to say for a third party set, the animal pieces in this set are really not bad, although they do take very closely from the official Lego animal designs. The turtles and penguins are quite cute, although I'm not sure about the penguin with red eyes. He kind of freaks me out a little bit, just being honest. But wait till you see the last animal on the third floor. Floor three features our biggest fish tank yet with a huge amount of coral and plants to fill in the space. The main attraction of floor three is the seal exhibit featuring two seals, a ball, and their own printed sign and a rock platform to sit on. There's even a little room for the employees to prepare to feed the seals. Again, the seals are super cute, but they're very similar to the Lego design. So the legwork for designing them was done already, but they were pretty cute. And finally, the building is capped off with the roof, which instead of being a boring flat roof, has a massive slanted skylight with transparent tiles, which allows natural light to shine in through the fish tank. Imagining this as a feature in real life sounds quite amazing. There's a ladder to access the top of the roof, but there isn't much to see up there. There's a nice tiled design on the front of the third floor with some curved tiles. And again, I love how this build breaks up the monotony of a plain Lego build with tons of different colors, accent stripes, and windows, which would surely be prevalent in a real aquarium. So that was your full tour of the aquarium. Like I said, the building is stunning, as you can see over my shoulder. Now I want to get into the finer details of the set and a few critiques that I do have of the build process. Building instructions and building techniques are pretty similar, so let's start there. The instructions themselves are not hard to follow. They look very similar visually to Lego instructions, but with the addition of the graying out technique that's often used on alternative set instructions, which grays out all the pieces from from previous steps. I don't really mind this, I think it works well enough, but one big thing for me is that instructions don't ask you to do too many things per step to keep it simple. And these instructions are easy to follow, but I do feel early on in the build, you're asked to put a lot of pieces on in each step. Even though it's not complicated, it feels like a lot when you're doing it. I didn't have any trouble differentiating between colors of pieces in the instructions, which is really good. That is a fear of mine. Um, even with Lego instructions, if the colors are similar, well, it can sometimes be really hard to differentiate between two shades of a similar color did not have any problems with that in this build so that's really good but let me show you a few of the things that i did find troubling when it comes to these uh instructions so st on step 71 the instructions want you to put these two by six plates together hanging out over the uh, floor with nothing to support them except the glass window pieces that you're gonna to use to build the turtle habitat. It's a bit precarious and easy to knock off. Um, it would have been easier to build the habitat separately and then add it into the build. My other critique of the build techniques in this set is that some of the windows, in particular the curved windows right here, and the walls to some of the aquarium tanks are not locked into place. So they're basically standing on their own and you do not have overlapping pieces that lock them together like is usually done in modular buildings. In comparison to some of the other walls, in the set that are locked in place and very sturdy. These windows are very flimsy because they don't have anything locking them in place. You can see they're quite wiggly. It would be really easy to accidentally knock them off. The other thing that you get that isn't listed on the instructions is this little sheet of additional marine life accessories. You get some shells, you get an octopus, another fish, some clam shells, and a starfish. I guess I'll go through, put some of these in some of the tanks and whatnot. So even though that wasn't in the instructions, that is a nice little uh, add-on that they gave us there. This set also comes with a interesting looking brick separator. And I do like this pointy portion at the end, which helps you separate bricks apart. The octopus did not come with eyes, but I thought I would add some eyeball tiles to give him just a little bit more character. So I hope you like his additional eyeballs. The last two notes that I do want to make, if you do pick this setup, be warned that there is an A box and a B box. Ostensibly, you would start with the A box, bags one, two, and three, and then move on to box B, bags four, five, and six. 
but there's actually an unlabeled bag in box B that has all of the big transparent window pieces and all of that stuff. So if you did open the boxes only in order and didn't look in box B before starting the build, you wouldn't know this. And you'd be very confused about where all the window pieces are, which I definitely was as well. So that is pretty much it for my review of this set. It does have a few flaws, a few critiques that I think they could have done better, but overall, um, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's a very good looking set, and I'm excited for the minifigures of My Lego City New Brickerton to be able to have an attraction to go to on maybe an afternoon, you know, spend a day with the kiddos, looking at the fish, looking at the seals. Um, I do think that it's gonna look awesome in the Lego City. And I hope you guys like the uh, look of this build as well. If you do have any questions about the build, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. I recommend, highly recommend that you check out General Jim's Toys and Bricks. They have a lot of cool stuff on there, and I know I'm gonna be picking up some extra stuff from them as well. So I wanna give a special shout out and a thank you to General Jim's Toys and Bricks for supporting this video. And that is pretty much it for me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.